Well, as I just said, the polls have now closed. Any idea who's going to come out on top? Well, as expected, and as you introduced, uh, President Anastasiades uh, was top of the poll. However, uh, his uh, percentage is much lower than he would have hoped for, which means there will be a second round of voting a week today, uh, and it will be between him uh, and Stavros Malas, who's become second. But what's striking, I think, is that the turnout is lower, and because of that, of course, it's also affected Anastasiades' his, his vote. So to discuss this and to put some meat on the bone and to explain what it means, I'm joined by Sinon Siaras, a political analyst here. Will Anastasiades be disappointed that he, his vote has gone down dramatically with the, with, the, with the turnout also lower? Probably yes, but what matters is who wins the second round. So I believe if he gets that, he'll be happy enough. Uh, in terms of Malas be becoming second and not the, the centre-right, Papadopoulos, who was promising, made lots of election campaigns and lots of election promises. Does that, how do you read how Greek Cypriots uh, cast their vote because of uh, Papadopoulos and Malas uh, in terms of second place? Well, the pre-election campaign started as, um, uh, with Papadopoulos being the favorite for the second round, but this has changed over time and it seems that the ambiguity of, of Papadopoulos' proposals and uh, I would say the unrealistic character of, of his proposals uh, probably um, uh, made him come in, this, in the third uh, place. And Malas uh, seems to be more mature than the, than the last elections. Uh, his uh, policies and, um, and uh, policies program seems to be more uh, realistic as well so people probably opted out for Malas. Yeah. Now, 